Now let's quickly review the inverse operator formulas that we have learned. Okay, so whenever you have 1 upon d minus a x where x could be anything you solve it like this you have this as equal to e raised to power a x integral that function of x e raised to power minus a x dx okay so this formula allows you to solve question of this type because you can now express this as partial fractions you can write this as a upon d minus k1 plus b upon d minus k2 and so on up until whatever you have d minus k n x okay and then you can individually calculate each of these guys okay to get the final answer however if your x is of a specific type that is if your x is e raised to power ax then you have a standard formula this is equal to e raised to power ax upon the function of a okay you need not calculate this integral rather you can directly apply this standard formula okay so f of a must not be equal to 0 for this formula to be applied if it is 0 then you multiply by x and instead of f a you have f dash a in the denominator okay if even this guy is zero you have a square and you have double dash okay if even this guy is zero you have a cube and you have a triple dash and so on okay so this is the other formula that we learned and finally before i move on to the next one just remember that this allows us to also calculate sin ax plus b and cos ax plus b right because these guys can be written as imaginary part of e raised to power i ax plus b or real part of e raised to power i ax plus b okay so if your this guy is sin ax plus b or cos ax plus b you are still going to use the same formula okay and finally the last formula that we learned is when you have x as this or a exponential function into some other function of x then this is equal to e raised to power a x inverse operator 1 upon f d plus a where a is this guy the function of x okay you can calculate this separately okay so this guy goes outside and you have f or rather 1 upon f of d plus a being operated on v of x okay now we are going to look at some typical problems based on inverse operators and linear differential equations let's now try to solve this differential equation okay so what do we have over here this i can write as d minus 1 d minus 2 y equal to x e raised to power 3 x plus sine 2 x okay so the solution for this guy is going to be u plus v where u is the solution for the corresponding homogeneous equation okay since the auxiliary equation has two roots which are both distinct my u is equal to c1 e raised to power 2x plus c2 e raised to power 1x okay i have calculated my u my v is going to be what my v is going to be 1 upon this thing which is d square minus 3d plus 2 dot the function of x which is x dot e raised to power 3x plus sine 2x okay now let's solve these guys individually okay so we are going to calculate this and we are going to calculate this separately okay let's first calculate what is 1 